Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's pizza time! Yum, yum. What is up guys? Today we are making a wood-fired clay pizza oven, also known as an earthen oven. Some people call it a masonry oven, bread oven, cob oven. I'm not sure what to call it anymore, but if you guys know or prefer a name, let me know in the comments. It can go by many names. In the end, I actually did use some cob on this. So you could call it a cob oven. You could call it an earthen oven, because I use earth. And you could call it a wood-fired clay pizza oven, because that's what it is. And I'm not sure what the majority of people agree on it being called. Either way, you're seeing me build it here. It took a few days to start and build this foundation and get it dry and get it level. So... As you can see, I added a tire in there just to add a little bit more height and a bit more width and a, a nice level surface to start working with. You could have done this and gone about this many, many ways, but basically what you need is a foundation to raise this puppy up so you can be operating at about chest height so you don't have to struggle. Now what I'm doing is adding some more width to the structure because the actual oven itself is quite wide. So I'm trying to level off the below surface and add a lot of mud and dirt to insulate it so there aren't going to be any fire hazards with this wooden table. And also so I can have a rim around the oven so I can place things, uh, condiments, things like that, and tools that I need while cooking. So I'm laying the base here with our fire bricks, which is actually my only cost in this build. And if, if you were to have to buy these, they could run you about 15 bucks. If you buy them at the local hardware uh, store, which is the best place to buy them because they're the cheap, don't buy them online because they will cost you a ton of money and a ton of money to ship. So make sure to buy them at a hardware shop. They, they should be cheap. And there's only roughly 15 or so. I've actually not counted them, but it's about 15 bucks worth. What I'm doing now is trying to so, sort of work out exactly what kind of space I'll be needing to accommodate that pizza tray. And then I'm building it up with wet sand or, or damp sand. If it's too wet, it won't work. It needs to be damp. Don't completely wetten it. Uh, we got lucky because it rained. So this dirt was already wet. I just pulled it from our, our wet pile. And it was just damp enough. After you get the dome structure just right, which does take a lot of padding and, and pulling, you're going to want to start covering it in newspaper or any kind of paper, like a wet paper. And this will act as a divide so when you put the later layers on, you can just simply peel back that paper and clear out all that sand below. And what you're left with is the clay on the outside, as you'll see. I'm just going around cleaning off the edges here because this is where I'm about to start applying the first layers of clay and cob. Just checking my door width there. As you can see, now adding the paper. And for the first layer, I'm not using cob because I don't want the hay in the, in the mix or the straw to be close to the fire. So we just use clay first. And in, after a day or two of drying, I apply the cob on the, on, the, on the outside as another inch or so of insulation. So what I'm doing here is just the clay and I'm leaving space for the door, although you can build up the door arch with sand which i haven't done in the end what i do is use some sticks and some reeds and i bend them over and i use the clay to to follow the bend in the sticks as you'll see in just a second here i just keep putting in the pizza tray there to make sure as i'm building that it's going to actually be able to fit in there which it does and make sure to stick around for the end because we are cooking a pizza in this video and it turns out quite nice and we will fire this up. This is a complete video from start to finish. I did take off the first couple seconds of me building the, the rock foundation because there's nothing nothing exciting there. Anyone can, can throw some rocks on the ground. This is the part where you really kind of need to see what I did. If you'd like to build something similar, there's many different uh, designs and ways you can go about this. Here, that 
plastic pot you can see in the top I'm trying to accommodate a future chimney so eventually I'll be pulling this out and building up the chimney um, as you can see here so I put some bamboo sticks in there just to hold the arch up overnight while it dried and this is where I'm adding the cob mix so for the cob mix it's the same again it's basically just mud or well dirt with a high clay content, uh, water, and straw. I stomp them around to get them good and kneaded and mixed. And then I knead up the balls, slap it on a good inch or, or, or a little bit thicker, and do it around the entire surface, which ends up being quite quick because the most of the structure is already made. And now you're just kind of coating it. And then I, I, I let this dry for about a day. And then I started firing it, as you'll see in just a moment. But let us know what you guys think about this. If you're enjoying this process, or if you're enjoying the channel, make sure to subscribe, give it a like. Otherwise, YouTube, YouTube won't know that you like it. All right, so this is pretty much done. We put two layers on it. And now we got to wait for it to dry. So as this dries, we're going to seal it up a bit more. I'll be able to take this plastic plant pot out finish the chimney. I've left these in here to hold the arch and uh, we've got the paper in there dividing it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I guess leave this for tonight, come back tomorrow. In the meantime, while I go to bed and let this dry, you can hit the thumbs up button, which is down there somewhere, and you could even be daring and hit that subscribe button, which is like over there somewhere. And maybe drop us a comment or something. Let us know what you think about this. If you want to make some pizza in here or what. Because I'm getting hungry. That sky looks so nice on camera. It's too bad I gotta, zoom, I gotta pan down. To get a better shot of the uh, oven. It's such like a Simpsons sky up there. Right, so now we're ready to dig out all that sand that's inside the middle. You're best to just grab a stick or your hands, your fingernails, whatever you, whatever works best. It is very tedious and it does take a long time to get it out. Um, but you, you gotta just keep digging. You dig it. So it did take a good hour or so. And then when I got bored, I just use some wet clay to fill in any cracks that were emerging. No matter what you do, you're going to get some cracks. You just got to keep filling them in. You haven't messed up. You just fill it in. You can minimize it by using more sand, but there's always going to be cracks. You just got to keep filling in. What I did was I went ahead and made a door by using an old piece of broken chair and just some clay that fit in the shape of the door. And then started a little bit of a fire to try to warm up that door and try to warm, try to get the uh, the actual structure of the arch fired up. While I was waiting, I went ahead and built up the chimney a couple inches. You can build this up a lot higher to get a stronger draft, but just for now, just to get it finished, I only built it up a little bit, and we're going to experiment with that chimney and bring it up and over, as we can show you in the future. But for now, that's all we needed. As you can see, I've almost got it out. All the way back to the paper is what you're trying to do. As you can see here, I'm about to take you inside the oven so you can see what it looks like inside there. Here we go. I'll, I'll put a light in there for you. Check us out. So if you can kind of see in there, you see I've brought it right to the paper. And then I'm just going to gently edge off the rest of that mud, you see? Up in here right to the edge of the paper and then I'm going to burn the paper off. I'm not going to actually take the paper off. I don't want to risk anything. I'm going to burn the burn it and then fill in any gaps and burn it again. Okay. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, right? So I got a light in there. We've almost got all of it cleared out. It's a lot bigger than it looks. As you can see. It's a 
my whole arm in here. And uh, we're just grabbing this last back corner here. And then we're done. Time for a pizza. Looking good, huh? Okay, so my cat is taking herself for a walk. And while she does that, I'm going to show you the inside of here. Uh, can you see that? So that's just the paper layer left. Completely left it in there. I've scratched all the bricks off. Got them as clean as I can for now. And I'm going to go ahead and have a fire in here. Burn off that paper. Take the fire out and see what's left, okay? And you can actually, if you can see in here, the dome does go up. You see that? So it's a lot higher, you know? It goes up inside there. Which is hard to see from the outside, but there you go. Um, we're gonna fire this up and show you what it looks like. But it's starting to look beautiful, you guys. Don't lie. Don't lie. That's beautiful. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Support our channel. This took a long time to make. It costs 15 bucks. You can do it yourself. I hope you're inspired. I hope you can do it. I know it was looking crappy at the beginning, but it's starting to look good, guys. You know that's true. <laughs> but the real question is, does it work? Can we cook a pizza? So that's what we're literally about to do right now, today. We're finishing this, the last video. No more video. That's not a real baby. We're, this is the last one, guys. We're gonna fire this right now, cook a pizza. Does it work? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's pizza time! Yum, yum. Okay, here we go. We are putting the first pizza in. I'm just gonna push back these coals. And we're just gonna have to experiment and see how it goes. This is not an exact science. And with any luck. Well, we can try a few different methods, but this is my first method. I'll just stick the fire to the back. Put the pizza in and just watch it carefully and rotate it. What could go wrong, eh? Here we go. Anyone got a light? Alright. There, there we go. Look at that. Slide it in. Now we just gotta watch this carefully. And keep it rotated. Stay tuned. Okay, how's it looking? It's been in there a couple minutes. About to take it out. It's looking num num. Larry. We'll have to bring it inside too so you can see the finish. Alright, look at those nummies. Looking good. Let's pull this out. You see those brown edges, don't lie. You know what you're seeing right now. You are seeing a cheese pizza. Let's get this on the table. Oh, yum yums. All right, so it's not perfect. I had a couple ashes from the wood get on it, but I'm sure that'll add to the flavor. I think it worked. We got brown edges. It looks good. And uh, now we're going to eat it. And you can't watch this because it's going to get graphic. I'm sorry, guys. I love you, but you can't watch this. You can't watch this next part. You would lose all respect. I love you. But check out my other videos. And we're going to do some more tests on this oven, cook some more stuff. For now, it's about to get rated R for ridiculously yummy. Okay, bye.